Now we come to the good of the cause of the public. The Board of Education recognizes the value of com public comment on educational issues and the importance of providing an opportunity to the public to express themselves, to allow for a fair and orderly public comment period. Individual comments are limited to five minutes. Members of the public are reminded this is a public televised meeting of the Board of Ed and to protect the privacy of all students and staff, concerns regarding individual students and staff members should generally be addressed by first meeting with the appropriate administrative staff. Is there anyone wishing to address the Board? Good evening. My name is Donald Simons. I live on River Road. Uh, last meeting, I forgot to thank Joyce for transportation for doing her part with that bus driver that uh, they finally took off the route. I was at the high school yesterday. I got there about 20 minutes to 2 in the afternoon. At quarter to 2, you had parents start parking in a fire zone, which is against the law, and that I stayed until 2 o'clock. There's 18 cars parked in the fire zone. There was over 21 parking spots in the first parking lot coming in off Cranberry Road. I brought this up to Dr. Lesky over six months ago. We had an agreement that when students drop off or be picked up after school, I wouldn't say anything. I'd let it go. And that it was during the school day that when parents parked in the fire zone, that something would be done about it. Well, parents continued to park in the school zone during the school day or after three or after school was out in that. So it seems like any agreements I have just get blown to the wind. So here's what's going to amount to. If this continues, I'm going to give you a month to handle this. I'm going to go back to school at different times. So I'm going to take pictures of the parents parked in a fire zone. And I'm going to bring up this entire board on child endangerment charges. Because it is against the code. I talked to two fire marshals yesterday. One was Mr. Verdi, who's in charge of it. He also informed me he has the discretion to give the parents a four-minute window to drop a kid off or pick a kid up. Not 20 minutes, not a half hour. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the board? Seeing none, I'll close the public portion. I would like to ask uh, for a motion for the entire agenda this evening, and that includes uh, an addendum to our personnel agenda, which was on the dais. Can I please have a motion for the entire board agenda? Somewhere. Moved by Mrs. Lack. Second. Second by Mr. Sealer. Is there any discussion? Okay. This is a roll call vote. Will the secretary please call the roll? <clears throat> Mr. Sismore. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mrs. Reese. Yes. Mr. Sealer. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. Mr. Winston. Yes. President Pepper. Yes. Motion carried. I don't think we have any old business. Um, you delivered a home run again tonight. Uh, any committee reports, information items, the good of the cause of the board? Barbara Reese. I have a few tonight. By the way, there was, what do those kids look like you? More like Larry, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mazel tov. Yeah, thank Good you. Job. Thank you. Uh, we had our first uh, student services committee meeting of the year. And uh, it was uh, a very wonderful presentation uh, led by Mr. Figueroa and his staff. It was a ve uh, he covered all the different areas that the Student Service Committee covers, athletics, special education, uh, student services, counseling, school security. So it was a very informative meeting. Uh, we all were you know, very interested to hear all the updates. And we were very lucky we had a special guest we had uh, Mrs. Mary Shaw, who came to visit us, and we honored her for her many years of service. And it was uh, a pleasure. Mrs. Lax was there, and it was just a pleasure uh, to be there. And Dr. Valeski stopped by, and uh, you know, we, we shared her the wishes of the board for her to all our good wishes and, and goodwill. And she was presented with a beautiful plaque from the committee. So it was just a nice, a nice event. Um, a couple of uh, other committees uh, not, um, where I serve as a, a board representative, uh, the Senior Center, uh, just want to let you know there's a Grand Friends program, and it's at Central School. 
I did, I did a little research on that. And uh, it's a second grade class. And what they're doing is an intergenerational program so that it provides a meaningful engagement between the students and uh, those who are uh, the older adults in the community. And they're going to do pen pals. So, and at the end, they'll have a time where they meet together. So it's just a great opportunity for uh, the kids to get to, you know, some, some of them don't have grandparents who live nearby or may not have grandparents, uh, you know, who, who are living. And it really gives them an opportunity to uh, get to know people who they might not otherwise meet and to have a sensitivity for those who are older. Uh, so that's a real nice program. And um, I did attend the EBF meeting yesterday, so I'll just do a shameless plug for Tuesday, March the 26th, the annual Partner in Excellence Dinner. So I think Jack will be happy with me that I mentioned that again. And uh, also, uh, Famous Folks Festival, like Dr. Valeski said, uh, many of us went to that today who had the opportunity. It was beautiful, it always is. Uh, you know, the kids uh, present, for those of you who are not familiar, they present their biogra biographies of people they researched. And so it's done in such a wonderful way that they actually are presenting that person. So it brings the history alive. And I learned a lot about a lot of people, things about Muhammad Ali, things about Eli Manning. Uh, I, I learned about Mario Andretti. Uh, I, I feel like a much more well-rounded person. <laughs> and they're really excited about what they learn because they choose the topics. So it's self-directed and, and you know, makes you proud to be, uh, have the staff and the, and the administration that we have at East Brunswick that makes them so excited about learning. So it's a good news message today. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Todd? Yeah, the Finance Committee met on Monday, and some of this is not news. Uh, Mr. Juliana already told us the uh, elementary enrollment is sort of busting at the seams, or, or it's, plan it, it's expected to, so we're going to have some issues in space at the elementary schools sooner than later with projected enrollment. Um, we also are, are looking at the total budget uh, for this year, and Ms. Juliana will give us a more complete presentation, but we are plugging a hole right now. We're short. So um, and we're short by significant dollars, by six figures, so we have to work on that now. So that's going to be uh, probably our job for the next couple weeks is trying to figure out how to do that. So um, they're sort of the big picture issues in finance. That's really the two big takeaways, I think, unless you know others that were there had a different um, takeaway. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Anyone else? Mayor. Mr. Oh. Chad? I know uh, every month Dr. Valesi goes through Athletes of the Month. Hmm. But in case anybody wasn't aware, one of our students was named Sportsman of the Year at South River High School. Wow. Christian Perrine, one of our wrestlers, oh, uh, nice. wrestled the manager of South River Wrestling who has special needs. Mm -hmm. And Christian wrestled him in a match. And it, he got Sportsman of the Year in South River. Wow, good for school. him. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Chad. Anyone else? <coughs> I'm just sticking on the sports theme for a second. Uh, Chad and I actually went to the sports awards for the winter sports. I know you mentioned winter just ended in spring. And I don't know if they do this every time because this is the first time I went. So for the Churchill Awards, they had a boy and a girl from the high school come down and talk to the kids about continuing on and what it meant to be an athlete at the high school. And I don't, and I don't know, and maybe someone else who's been there can tell me if it's something that's done at everything. But I hope it is because it was actually one of the nicest things. It was really meaningful for the kids to see what awaits them for some of them next year, some of them two years. But it was a really nice uh, touch. I don't know if you know, or well, actually, you went through East Brunswick, so you might know that um, in the right before the the seniors graduate, the senior athletes go back to their elementary schools, and there's an assembly. Um, with the kids and they get to see all these these kids who are graduating mm -hmm. and they talk to them about how they were one day sitting in the in those gymnasiums in the elementary schools dreaming about playing soccer or basketball or football and about how they went on to play for their school and how wonderful it is so you're right Lori nice. it's um it's really a great great experience and, and that's actually aligned with Dr. Bowley's initiative this year to actually bring all the graduates step back down to their elementary school, whether they play a sport or they're involved in the arts or they're just, just they just love being a student, 
and having conversations with the elementary students and saying, this is what the future is for you. So Dr. Right, Bowling. and being an inspiration for the little ones, wearing their cap and gown, walking through the hallway, getting high fives from I the little kids, uh, the last few days of school before well, they graduate and go off and leave East Brunswick Public Schools. One last time to take a, a, a stroll down memory lane where, where it all started for them. It's closing the circle. It is. That's it one, is. It's, it's a wonderful Hopefully idea. be a great new tradition for us. It's a great idea. Jeff and Mark and I, we, we volunteer to go back to our elementaries. To see, you know. Oh, right, right, the three. The three. Well, I wanted to thank Ms. Tibbetts for having a picture of my elementary school <laughs> on her presentation there. We can have the computers, but uh, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> that was the, the one classroom, right? That was it. The first photo. Yeah, I saw you in there. The second <laughs> you saw everything in black and white back then, right? Yes, it was in black and white. Yeah. You saw the pictures. Mr. Winston. Uh, I know this will come as a surprise to many of you. I did not varsity letter in several sports in high school, but I did have a chance to go to my first uh, banquet the other night for girls basketball uh, up at the high school level. Uh, it's the first one I've ever been to. And uh, I know uh, Coach Retzloff's wife was cooperative in holding off and having the baby uh, until the next day and because the food was great. But what really, really struck me, the seniors made speeches on the way out. And every one of them talked about how important it was for them to nurture the freshmen uh, coming up. And very few of them talked about their own uh, accomplishments. There was a thousand point scorer amongst the group. But that's not what she talked about. She talked about the friendship. She talked about the freshmen. She talked about the experience. And not once did it come up that I'm, that she was this, uh, it was just amazing. And uh, so hats off to Coach Lane, uh, Coach Retz. They, they run a solid, program that really uh, speaks to what we do here in EB. Thank you for sharing that, Jeff. Anyone else? Okay, we have a need for a closed session. Uh, whereas uh, the Board of Education intends to discuss matters as follows. Those items listed on tonight's agenda, whereas the length of the closed session is estimated to be two hours, after which the public meeting of the Board shall reconvene and action may be taken. Can I please have a motion to go into closed session? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second by Mrs. Reese. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a good night.